Hi guys. Hi. I can't forget that we're in Texas. It's not the most LGBTQ friendly place, but our goal still is to help. I'm gonna say the spark moment was uh, our first meetup. We were thinking, you know, five, 10 people. One table turned into two, three, four. And we're like, hey y'all, like, what are y'all doing here? <laughs> They're like, yeah, we're here with the Pflugerville Gays. I'm like, oh, awesome. I was like, we're, we're Pflugerville Gays. Oh, hey, Jill, yeah, thank you so much. How are you? I'm like, wonderful. We Likewise. have a community outside, you know, Austin. But even then, they're like, hey, how can we help out? What is it that people around here need? And that's kind of how we began starting. Well, it's a canned food drive meetup. With any donation, you, you get a free fan. Canned oh, foods, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did put some canned food there. Oh, yeah. So feel free to take one. We are a resource network on the outskirts of Austin. We've done the canned food drive, uh, free STI, STD testing, mental health resources. Food, shelter, water, etc. <laughs> and it's not just for the LGBTQ community. Thank you so much for us. We want to welcome everyone. So thanks for joining everyone. Um, it's good to see you all. Okay. Let's start with um, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. It is where the word sodomy comes from. There were law codes, and still are probably some in America that have this on the books. Uh, most was I surprised that we did not have the resources in the outskirts of Austin? Yes, but no, because we are in Texas. So it's, it's kind of one of those that the government's, hey, you could help out, but I feel like you're attacking us more than, than helping out. It should be 436 by Patterson, relating to the definition of abuse of a child, referred to the Committee of Public Health. Over the last several years, there's been explosive growth in a, a program referred to as Drag Queen Story Hour. SB 14 works to stop the use of puberty blockers. Cross Sure lays out uh, House Bill 1507. HB 1686. Committee substitute for Senate Bill 15. Senate Bill 162. Senate Bill 1601. The rhetoric you continue to use only seeks to vilify our vibrant community has real consequences. It leads to a rise in protests, armed threats, children being terrified when proud boys raid drag events, and violence against the performers themselves and the venues that host them. Every Texan. With the events that we've had had in Pflugerville, we have neo-Nazis show up. It can be rather intimidating. Because as open as we want to be, I feel like that could be seen as a target that we're putting on our back. We're going to have these events, per, you know, to offer these services. I can share you the contract that I have with them. That Am I doing this because I need to set a positive example? But I know I'm putting a target behind my back for these people to actually off me. So, so what do we do there? Okay. Ah, uh, what drives me? Personally, yeah, I'm not really yeah. sure, to be quite honest. It's just, I saw a need in the community. Like, we've all been in need at some point. Did we have cones? What happened to the cones? If I'm able to do that for another individual, um, I'm gonna do it. Doesn't matter if it's just one person that just gets what they need. That's more than enough. Like, that's more than enough. Hi. Hi. Hello, how y'all doing? Great, how are you? Again, I'm not gonna let fear dictate the positiveness that we, we are creating, the goodness that we are showing to the community. 
Sometimes people don't need to have a reason to provide good in this world. Uh, that it's just best to provide good, period. Hi, how are you?